a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One summer's day, I went to the park and found a group of children gathered around a big notice. The notice said, We are sorry to announce that the circus will not be coming this year. The children all looked very sad. The summer won't be the same without the circus, they said, and I agreed. It's so exciting when the circus comes to town, and we all love watching the clowns and the jugglers, the acrobats and the trapeze artists. I walked on through the park and saw a man sitting on a park bench, looking very miserable. He told me that his name was Roberto, and he was the ringmaster from the circus. We've got a few problems, he said. The juggler has broken his arm. The acrobats have had an argument and won't work together anymore. The chief clown fell over his big feet and hurt his nose. And our top trapeze artist has suddenly got scared of being in high places. And he can't work either. So, no circus this summer, said Roberto sadly. And I've got nothing to do. Oh, I know, I said. Why don't you hold circus classes for all the children? Then you'll have something to do. Everyone was delighted with this idea. And all through the summer holidays, the children came to the park and Roberto taught them how to be circus performers. Then, at the end of the summer, the children invited everyone in the town to come to their open-air circus. Way! There were clowns, a juggler, some acrobats, a stilt walker, and a tightrope walker. The children were introduced by Roberto, the ringmaster, looking very smart in his bright red jacket, his shiny black boots, and his top hat. <laughs> the audience loved the show. The children of Roberto agreed it had been the best summer ever. Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure.